um, it was reported by Woj that the, the Nets had acquired James Harden, but it wasn't official. So before the game and after the game, no one from the Nets could talk about it. Well, it became official today. Uh, all the uh, components of the deal that were reported yesterday, that's that's what it took to get Harden. And Sean Marks, the GM of the Nets, spoke with the media on a Zoom call today. And so we just felt, you know, it came together quickly. Uh, we felt it was the move to make. Uh, and we're going to go for it. Uh, also said that the organization is disappointed in not having Kyrie Irving. Didn't have any timetable for when he would get back, but expects that he would. Um and I've given a lot of thought, and I've read everybody, and, and you know the, the, the prevailing thought on this deal is they've got to win a championship to make this work. Now, a lot of people are saying they have to win a championship this year. Well, that's ridiculous. They don't have to win one this year. They have to win one while these three guys are here. That's all there is to it. Now, you'd like to win two. It's not easy to win titles. So they have to win one because there might be a little bit of a downturn in the net fortunes when these guys get older or if they just decide to opt out and they could do that in two more years. So if they do that and leave, the Nets are in some trouble. You know, there was an unbelievable stat today that I saw that the, the Nets, since the trade with Boston, uh, will not have control of their first-round pick from the trade that they made with Boston until, I think, 2025. They don't have... Over control, they don't have total control of their first round picks. So they have four flips in this deal, and they have four first round draft picks as well. Now, you know, I, I took a good look at it. Giving up the first round draft picks for the next couple of years, it doesn't. That's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. And I'll tell you why. They're going to be good. Now, whether they win a championship or not, we'll see. Right. But they are going to be good. So the, the first-round draft picks that they're giving away, in my opinion, are going to be the 27th and the 28th. They're not going to be a lottery team unless one of these guys gets hurt. So I don't mind giving up those first-round picks. It's the picks that are there after these guys leave. Those are the ones that get me nervous. Those are the ones that you're really going to need. Those are the ones that could be... A, lottery picks, or like right in the middle of the first round where, oh, I don't know, you could get a Giannis Antetokounmpo. Those are the ones that get me concerned. Bottom line is this. They put all their chips into the table like Jim Fossil did. He got to the Super Bowl, didn't win. They need to get to the finals and win because they have completely mortgaged their future guys, and they've got to win. They've got to win. I think they know that. And yeah. to add an added layer of intrigue to the whole thing, not only are they a team that has to win, but they're not liked. They've got players that are not like. They are now becoming the villains. Yeah. So they've got the black suit on. They are the villains, the black hat. We'll see how they handle it. Some teams well, don't like that.